In this OddCal tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test an audiometer using the OddCal app. To begin running a test, have the test you created selected in the tree view, then select the transducer icon you want to test first. Here we only have one, so it makes it easy. If you had other transducers, they would look like this. We can run any of these tests in this list. The checked ones are going to appear in the final report. We're not going to run these last three ones today. OddCal was designed to be tested in the case, so you can leave the coupler in the foam during the test. For this test, Brent is going to place the left supraoral headset over the coupler and secure it in place with a mass handle weight. Every test starts on the left side. It runs down the list starting with the first check test. Then when it finishes, it'll start back up at the top with the right side and continue down. These are your controls. Run starts the selected test from the first frequency or step. Stop will end that test, and next we'll go to the next check test in the list. We know the distortion test will first look for 250 Hz frequency, so we set the audiometer to 250 Hz and then begin. OddCal will automatically detect the conditions of the test, then move on to the next step. As the technician, you only have to follow the instructions in the top gray bar to advance to the next step. When the meter detects the conditions of the step, it will record and move on. You can find the conditions of stability published in the OddCal manual if you want to know more. Distortion and frequency require the same input, so those two tests run simultaneously if both selected. You can see the audiometer passed both tests. Brent is checking the current level for the hearing level test before running. You can see the live display of data at all times on each page. As soon as one step is passed, you can change to the next step. As you can see, Brent doesn't need to wait very long to turn the dial or set the dBHL. He can keep his hand on it and turn as each frequency passes. To advance to the next test, you can select the next icon or choose the next test in the list. For linearity, select the frequency you want to test at. Brent chose 1 kHz. Then you enter the max and min level along with the step size. This isn't necessarily the constraints of the audiometer, but rather where you want to test at. It is good to set up the test before you begin. Brent sets the audiometer to 1 kHz frequency and the max level to what he indicated. Then he selects Run. Since you are not required to interact with the app during the test, you can progress through each step by adjusting the dial as soon as the signal is stable and recorded. The next test, Pulse, is a quick test and requires that the audiometer mode be set in pulsed tones. In just an instant after pressing run, the results are calculated. This audiometer failed in the off times for that frequency. This test can be rerun just like any test at any time. Crosstalk is started on the left side and it will end on the right side later during the test suite. This is one of the few tests that require technician interaction during the run. You will need to tell OddCal when the requested conditions are met before it will record that data. When doing crosstalk, you will start with the left transducer in place. Ensure the right side is away from the signal and coupler. Adjust your audiometer accordingly and select OK. The next part is to switch the signal to the right side, keeping the equipment as is. Then select OK. Turn both sides off for the final step. When you do the right side later, you only need to do the first step, and then you can press stop. Lastly, there is frequency modulation. The detected signal will need to be within the cerulean portion of the graph to pass. More information on this test, refer to the manual, but more importantly, the standard that you are testing to. The next icon took us to the right side and the top of the test list. So switch transducer sides, then run through the tests. The tests will turn from blue to green if passed, or red if any of the portion of the test has failed. Crosstalk finishes on this side. Press Run, follow the prompt, press OK. And you can choose to stop the test here or run the other two steps again. You don't need to retake a whole test if only one step fails. In a stopped state, do a long tap on that step to redo it. If it's not the last step that you were redoing, press stop when you're done. After running all the steps, you can go to the results by clicking on the icon in the upper right. 
The green circles represent past tests, the reds are failures. The black tests are ones that we're not going to run, and if you didn't run a test that was checked, it would be gray. You can select any circle on this page, and it will take you to that test. So Brent is selecting the red circle so he can rerun that failed test. To learn more about OddCal and its features, visit...